Welcome to another tech video. We're going to be looking at a building to building link that we've been asked to, uh, to put in for a customer. So this is a fairly low cost solution um, and we're going to be using TP-Link 710 devices for this. Now these have got a range of 15 kilometers. So we're going to be putting them together today uh, and then we'll focus on configuration and setup in another video later. Um, it's 5 gigahertz AC867 as you can see um, it's comes with uh, this is quite amazing the devices these will reach up to 15 kilometers in a peer-to-peer -peer setup however our buildings are going to be they're 92 meters apart so we're going to have to reduce the power of these so that uh, they're not um, broadcasting so powerful as I say, we're going to put that one to one side and we're going to have a look at all around the box. It's not, not too much to say really, so let's get into it and get one of these put together um, and see what you get for your money. So the pair of these was £115, which is pretty low cost. Um, and here we've got our installation guide. We've got our public license notice and a couple of other bits of paper, um, declarations. Let's have a look at the guide because we're going to be uh, having needed to have a look at this. Um, so it breaks down all the parts. Comes with a mounting bracket and a metal strap, which is useful. PoE adapter, application example. So you want to make sure that you've got clear line of sight, which uh, we will be, uh, which we will have. Shows you how to put it together. Might be a little bit fiddly, but for a low cost building solution, pretty impressive. So here we've got our PoE power cable. We've got a little bag of screws and our nut. And then in here, We've got our PoE adapter, again with some additional screws, in case you want to mount that. And then we've got our bracket. This is quite neat. This comes with a, uh, a little uh, spirit level included. You can make sure that it's nice and, nice and level when you're mounting it. Bracket top. Uh, bracket to hold the unit itself. And then on the back here, we've got, this is where it will sit against the, uh, the mounting pole that we've, uh, that we've got. So, all looks fairly straightforward. What else have we got in the box? Okay, so we've got our big Jubilee mounting clip, which I'm assuming is gonna go through there and mount onto the pole. I don't think we're gonna be needing one so big. So we do have some smaller ones of that. What else have we got in the box? And then we've got our two uh, dish pieces. I'm not sure we're going to need those for 92 metres away, but we are going to put them on there. So let's move the box out. Remove it from the packaging. Okay, so on the uh, on the box itself, it does look like it's uh, it's plastic finish, but um, these are sturdy metal. And the way that you put it together is it assembles only one way, but then you're going to need you're going to need your screws to put it together or to uh, secure it afterwards. So we're going to empty those out. And at the moment, we can put that to one side, that to one side, and that to one side. So what you should have is um, four small screws with a, a washer and a locking washer on the top, and then a nut for the back.
So the first thing that we're going to do is we want to get our unit assembled. Now you want to be careful on this because you don't want to bend it out of shape because putting the middle bracket in place uh, can become tricky later on. So this just, you've got two slots here and two lugs here that um, clip, uh, well, they, they go into the, into the lug holes. It is a bit tricky and fiddly to do, but once you're, once you're there, it's relatively easy and as you can see they're sort of lined up like that so we're just going to give it a little helping hand to lock that into place like that so just position it move it along a little bit and then give it a tap and that will position it um, and lock it into place and then you do the same on the other side Again, you want to make sure that you don't put any additional pressure on to bend it out of shape. And as you can see, it is fiddly, but you've got your two lugs in your two holes, so they should just line up on there like that. You can start it off uh, by moving it a little bit, and then you want to just get your palm of your hand, hold it in place, and give it a little tap. Just slide that and clip that across and then that is that bit completed we rest that down like that then we take our four screws um, and the the screw should be mounted with the nut on the inside so you position one through there and you take your nut take your screwdriver Screw that into place. And then on your second one, that goes through there as well. Once you've got the two screws in place, I take a pair of pliers just to hold the nut in place. It doesn't need to be, you don't need to have a, a spanner for this. It's quite sufficient to use a pair of pliers and just make sure it's done up nice and tight. Again, you don't want to put pressure on the unit to bend it out of shape, otherwise it'll make getting a centerpiece in a lot trickier. And that's it. So if we have a look, we can see all four of the screws and nuts mounted nice and securely. That's holding that into place. That's not going to move anywhere. Next thing is you want to take your rear mounting bracket. And this goes on with the spirit level at the top. And the way that you put this in is you want to get the sides aligned first of all and then you want to try and position those into the correct place don't push down on it just yet until it's all correctly lined up which that is you want to make sure that the two sides are over the over the metal casing once they are, you can turn it over and it's just a matter of, you can see we've got one, two, three, four clips to get in. The bottom clip is already in and it's just a matter of gently clipping in the other ones with a little bit of pressure. Until all of them are in place. So got the side one in place but this one isn't so we're gonna just give that a bit of a helping hand so it all clips in nicely like that and that is then completely locked into place using the two clips on the side the clip on the top and the clip on the bottom and that is nice and secure it's not going to come out okay so the next thing is we want to add our um, our unit itself so again 
If you look at the top here, you've got a hole at the top and you've got an access panel at the bottom. So the access panel is to insert your network cable through there. So this will only go in one way. And again, just slide that in until it clips into place and that is nice and secure using the clip on the top. And then when you come to do your install, the cable will just plug in under here and then you can take this clip on the top and that will, that will just slide in, if I can get it in the right way, like that. So it just slides in and it will clip into place and then your network cable will come out through the bottom there. You don't want to clip that on uh, until you've got your connectivity plugged in. Next is the mounting bracket itself. So you can put this on now. You don't need to wait. Um, so this will attach to your, um, your pole. And then on the side here, you've got two little guides on each of the sides and you've got your swivel pegs here that will allow that to move and swivel. So we just slide that over till it clips into place. And then you can see you've got the full positioning there. On the side here, you will notice that you've got um, your scale for degrees of up and down. And then, so when you're putting your bolt in, you wanna make sure that you use one of the edges that will act as a pointer. And if you look, when you put it in there, you can, you can position it in the center and uh, you can use that as your, your pointer guide. I'm gonna put my thumb on that, turn it over, and on the other side, we put a large washer, then we put a locking washer, and then we put our wing nut on there. And that's it, that's, that's the assembly completed. Uh, you wanna make sure that you take your, obviously your, your Jubilee clip, because this will mount, that will, you have to undo it completely, that will slot through there, um, and then your mounting pole will go on here, and then your Jubilee clip will do up around that. Um, this is quite a large size, so you might find that actually you need to get some smaller ones if you're using a smaller pole. Um, so we are so the poles that we're going to be using are a lot a lot smaller they're still just as strong um, but that will sit on there and we have got some 30 to 40 mil jubilee clips that we can use uh, instead of these larger ones that are designed for the larger mounting pole it will be perfectly su sufficient for our use and that's it So I mentioned that uh, they come with a PoE adapter, which is, which is brilliant. So you can power the unit. You don't need to have a PoE switch. We're gonna be using a PoE switch with ours because we've got some additional devices that we're gonna be powering like uh, another, another access point. But um, yeah, these come with a, a distance of, they will do a, a line of sight connection up to 15 kilometers. Um, we're going to be using nowhere near that. Our buildings are 92 meters apart, so we're going to be having to tune these. We're going to lower the power levels on them to make sure that um, we're not using or not uh, pushing out too much power from them um, because it's a complete waste, basically. So we're not sure what the, what the tuning mechanism is, but we will have a look at that once we start setting things up. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.